It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Tuesday, the 4th of June. I'm Michael Groff. The word of the day is hot. Temperatures not only above average, but approaching record territory by the time we get toward Thursday and Friday. And of course, needless to say, it will be the hottest temperatures we've experienced so far this year. Hopefully the hottest temperatures we'll have for the rest of the year. But that, my friends, I believe is wishful thinking. Now, we do have some forecast uncertainty revolving around some moisture creeping into the state, maybe a few showers and thunderstorms over the higher terrain at some point. We'll talk about whether or not we'll see anything around here. All, of course, as we dive on in and discuss. First, the almanac from yesterday, 103 degrees the afternoon high, 77 the morning low, both of those two degrees above the respective averages of 101 and 75, 113 that record high. From 2016, 51, the record low. That sounds just delightful. All right, as we check the upper air weather pattern across the nation, we have some moisture moving across the southwest in response to a little short wave, but that's not really amounting to anything for us, just some high clouds around. And so we'll have partly sunny sky for most of the rest of the day, and we'll see more sun by late this afternoon. A few showers and storms, of course, across the Arklatex region right now, but overall, At least for us, things are going to stay quiet. All right, the watch warning map. We've got heat advisories over a good part of South Texas. Look, the rain just keeps coming on down for the Arklatex. They have flood watches and a few flood warnings there. There's the possibility of some severe weather to boot, and that will extend through much of the Plain States. We'll show you that in a second. Well, to the north of Arizona, we've got some wind advisories and high wind watches over portions of Montana. Now, To get to the heat around here, we've got an excessive heat warning for the Phoenix area. This is from 10 a.m. tomorrow morning through 8 p.m. Friday. Those heat warnings extend through much of South Central, Southwest, West Central, Northwest Arizona, as well as into the Mojave Desert, Southern Nevada, the Las Vegas Valley. They might, there's a chance, an outside chance, they could hit 110 degrees tomorrow. If they do, it would be the earliest that Las Vegas has ever clocked in with a high temperature of 110 degrees. Goodness. And of course, the heat extends into the valleys of California as well. On top of all of that, we've got an air quality alert in effect for today and tomorrow through 9 p.m. tomorrow evening. Ozone levels will remain in the unhealthy range. Now, thereafter, at least uh, the Arizona Department of Environmental Quality is forecasting these uh, numbers to drop off quite a bit. Ozone will be down into the moderate range. The fine particulate matter, as well as the PM10, that 2.5 and the PM10 should stay in the low to moderate range. Convective outlook for today, we've got the enhanced risk of severe storms around Oklahoma City and Norman, Oklahoma. The broader severe weather risk extends from the Gulf Coast all the way up into the Dakotas, Minnesota, Wisconsin. So again, the plains, the hot spot for severe weather, but that that's often the case this time of the year, particularly the northern plains. Precipitation outlook around here. This is valid through Tuesday morning of next week. Rain amounts in Phoenix, probably nothing. Statewide, not much, but a little bit. Possible for the rim country, the eastern mountains, the southeastern portion of the state. Any rain we get now is good. Unfortunately, much of this will probably come from very high-based convection. That means the cloud bases are high. It doesn't produce much in the way of precipitation, mostly wind and lightning-producing storms. And we really don't want to see that because that results in more fires. We've already had quite a few wildfires and these brush fires breaking out across much of Arizona. And we're just getting started into the summertime. And uh, if the monsoon is indeed not as robust as, as we do expect, we expect a subpar monsoon once again. That could lead to a very long fire season. All right. But in the meantime... Let's figure out what's going on in the short term here with our forecast. And to do that, we'll dive into the models, see what they have to say. Here we go. This is the GFS. It's the 12Z run, and this is valid at 5 o'clock this afternoon. Ridging sits off to the west of us. The heights are coming up, and what it means down at the surface for the rest of the day today, partly sunny sky, that wave moving off to the east. High temperatures should climb into around the 101 to 105 range. Tonight, we turn mostly clear overnight lows mainly in the upper 60s to upper 70s. And then tomorrow, sunny, hot, highs 106 to 110. And this is where our excessive heat warning begins is tomorrow. If you think that's bad, check out Thursday. High pressure is in control 
and it will be a scorcher. Highs anywhere from 110 to 114. The national blend of models actually is pushing us to 115. And if that happens, you bet we're going to be challenging a record. Let's go to Friday. Got ridging that's in here. We've got this little area of low pressure off to the south and west of us. The main story will be the heat. Still high temperatures, probably topping out around uh, 109 to 114. And uh, there might be some isolated showers and thunderstorms over the higher terrain of eastern Arizona and across the Four Corners region. Um, and again, those will be very hit and miss. But some moisture is expected to start seeping into the state as a result of this little area of low pressure to the south and west of us and ridging setting up to the east. This is not a monsoonal flow. This is just more of a southerly flow between high pressure to the east and area of low pressure to the west. And that low is going to hang around for a while, it seems. Here we go to Saturday. Temperatures will come down a little bit, backing off to around 104 to 108. Partly sunny sky continues. And again, an isolated afternoon storm over the higher terrain. We just don't anticipate anything here in the lower deserts. Pretty much the same story on Sunday. You can see some rain to the north of Arizona across the inner mountain west. And maybe an isolated storm again for northern and eastern Arizona as moisture levels will be up. These dew points are going to come up a little bit. We'll have clouds around from time to time. It'll be partly cloudy to sometimes considerably cloudy out there. And again, there'll be mainly high clouds for us, and that should slow down the heat a little bit too, and heights will come down as well. Afternoon highs, probably anywhere from about 103 to 107. And it's the same story on Monday. 103 to 107, partly cloudy sky, most precipitation, most of it, the majority should be located off to the east of us, across the Rockies and heading out into the Plain States. Here's a week from today. This is Tuesday, the 11th of June. Got a wave moving out into the Plain States. We have still an area of low pressure well to the west of us. But if this is correct, I would say we'll be dry and warm. You know, highs around average. I'd say anywhere from about 103 to 107. And so that's normal or just a couple of degrees above normal. Going out 10 days. This is Thursday, the 13th. Got an area of low pressure, kind of an interesting setup over the southeast U.S., kind of a deep low for this time of year down there. And we have a little trough that's coming through the southwest, and that would help to lower temperatures, give us some breezy conditions. Highs would back off several degrees if that's right. We may, may just barely make it to the century mark if that turns out, but there's no moisture here, okay? So that's not going to result in much of anything. I guess there could be, again, an isolated shower or storm over the higher terrain, but that's not going to produce anything for us other than slightly lower temperatures. Look at our rainfall for Phoenix out through the 18th of June off the GFS Ensemble. And what do you got here? Five, seven, nine members that have some precipitation. Nine of the 31 members in this ensemble. The ensemble mean is way, way, way under five hundredths of an inch. Um, so we're, we're not going to expect any meaningful chances of rain anytime soon. But of course, it's early in mid-June in Phoenix. You generally don't expect any rain here this time of the year. And same story for the European Ensemble out through the 18th. Not much chance of any meaningful rainfall here. It's amazing that there are any members at all, but a few of them are struggling to handle this upper low off to the west of us, and some are even trying to bring a few showers and storms into the lower deserts at some point uh, over the next, uh, well, from about Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but I just don't see that happening. Temperatures off the National Blend of Models, and there you see it. It's got us at 115 degrees on Thursday. And that would obviously um, we would be challenging some records here if that does indeed come to fruition. Hot Friday and then lowering a bit as we go out into the weekend and next week, but still above average on most days. Overnight lows, 70s and 80s. Yes, we are really, really in the, in the frying pan right now. Let's take a look at those normals. Speaking of record high temperatures. All right, so the record high for Thursday is 111, and with a projected high, if you if you go with the National Blend of Models, 115, our forecast is 110 to 114, pretty much uh, looks like we're going to break a record there. Friday, I would say probably not, probably not, but we'll be pretty close. We'll be in striking distance this weekend. Looks like the records will be safe as high temperatures should lower then, but we are likely to stay above normal for the foreseeable future. 
That's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video is due back here tomorrow morning. Should you happen to enjoy these videos, then be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell, leave those comments, questions, and suggestions. And if you really like what we do here, then you can click that thanks icon below the video and make your monetary contributions. $2, $5, $832,796. All of it, any of that, is all good. Or, of course, you can donate directly to me via PayPal Groff Show at gmail.com. That's the email address. G-R-O-F-F Show at gmail.com for PayPal donations. The executive producer of the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion is my one and only, the sweetest of all time, the Asian sensation and proprietor of sweetchildaz.com.org and the Facebook page of the same name, Sweet Child Arizona. Talking about my Michelle, check her out, check out her videos, everything that's all linked up down in the description. You know you want to take a look at it if you haven't, so do it. Do it. Yeah. And our streaming station, available 24-7, 365. It is called KMGX. What do we do there? We play a ton of music. We have a lot of fun with that. And I highly encourage you to check that out as well. See, we have so much to offer you here. It's not just weather stuff. There is just a ton of other things going on. And uh, we're a multi-purpose entertainment outlet. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. All of your continued support. It is so greatly appreciated. Please. Be safe. Yeah. Stay cool. Stay hydrated out there. And you guys have yourselves a beautiful rest of your Tuesday.